Hi, welcome back to the teeny tiny kitchen. Um, I'm making fudge today. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's my brother-in-law's 40th birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Jeremy. Um, and his favourite thing is fudge, so I will be making him fudge. Um, what you are going to need, annoyingly, is one of these babies. Sugar thermometer. Um, you can do it without a sugar thermometer. Um, so <clears throat> what you'd need to do is get uh, a bowl of ice cold water and keep it next to the stove when you're making the fudge. Um, and that way you can check to see if it's if it's ready or not. Um, but I do use the sugar thermometer just because I like the sciencey part. Um, <coughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is throw some things on the floor. I'm gonna butter my uh, container. So I'm just gonna grab a bit of butter. I'm using um, a square container and I'm using one of these silicone ones purely because it's so much easier once the, uh, the fudge is, is cooled and set just to turn it out. Um, but obviously just use any um, container that you have, any, any tin, um, and just make sure it's uh, really well buttered and lined just to make sure the fudge doesn't stick. So I'm just gonna quickly rub that in there. So, this recipe really uses very few ingredients, very few ingredients. You've got some sugar, you've got some butter, you've got some evaporated milk, and you've got some vanilla. Um, so we've got 500 grams of caster sugar. We have got 50 grams of butter, unsalted butter, and 100 mils of evaporated milk. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I've got my pan here. I've got it um, started warming it up already purely because this one takes a while to heat up. But what you need is um, a large, heavy-based saucepan um, or, or stock pot, as I've got, just to um, make it in. You don't want it to be kind of a, a flimsy saucepan because it will catch, it will burn. So we don't want that. So that's starting to get hot. So I'm gonna turn that up a bit. Basically, you're just gonna put everything in the, in the pot. Everything goes in. So in goes the sugar. In goes my evaporated milk. And in goes my butter. So what we're gonna do, basically, is we're gonna bring those ingredients to the boil. And we are just going to boil them until they reach 115 degrees C on your sugar thermometer, um, which is, let's see, it's just, it's, it's just after the jam stage before the firm ball stage. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, 100, 115 degrees. Or if you're not using a, a, a sugar thermometer and you've got your ice cold thing of water next to you, if you just periodically take out little bits of the fudge and drop it into the water, if it holds its shape, it's ready. This um, should take about sort of between five and 15 minutes for it all to um, kind of get to where you want it to, to be. Now I'm just gonna give this a good stir you shouldn't really stir sugar when it's hot but i'm just stirring this in because I sh probably should have cut the butter up a little bit more but never mind we'll let that melt in you do want to as it starts heating you do want to stir it occasionally um because otherwise it you do run the risk of it sticking you don't want it to catch so do keep your eye on it and and sort of stir it occasionally so i'm just gonna keep stirring butter to melt down. It's quite a large lump of butter there. Get that to melt a bit. Such a beautiful colour. Looks a little bit like wet sand. Right, it's partly because I've used uh, golden caster sugar here rather than white caster sugar, but you can use white caster sugar. There's no 
no problem with that at all. So I'm just waiting for this to come up to the boil. Once it is boiling, um, you are going to want to turn it down a little. You don't want it to be on a fierce rolling boil for the whole um, 15 minutes because it will just it will burn. Um, so you want to turn it down to a gentle boil um, and then just keep your eye on it. This is starting to come to a boil now, getting the little bubbles. Perfect, so I'm going to turn that down and start giving it a mix. going to take one off the heat for a bit because it's getting a little bit over hot um, and obviously that's that will then cause it to burn which we don't want um, no one wants burnt flecks in their fudge also this stock pot I'm using um, really hangs on to the heat so um, it makes it a little bit easier temperature wise okay that's up to 60 degrees already I'm gonna shake that off Put that in there. right I'm gonna get it back on the on the heat now give it a good stir should see as you start uh, as you start going through the process and you start stirring you'll see it start to thicken up um, and that's exactly what you want you want it to start getting thick um, because if it doesn't get thick it's not going to set it's quite mesmerizing actually watching all the bubbles come up if you ever make this just be careful because literally I'm just sitting there going, oh look at the bubbles very mesmerizing That's really, really boiling now. That is starting to thicken up nicely. So I'm just going to check the temperature again. Now if you've got a bigger pot, you can these actually clip onto the sides of pots they're designed to um, clip onto the side of a, of a jam pot basically um, but because my pot is quite small I'm having to take it in and out um, which is slightly frustrating for now so I'm gonna try and see if I can show you what this looks is boiling hot I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying not to tip it out everywhere so you can get, get an idea of the colour. I'll just give you an idea of um, the ice water trick. I'm just going to fill up a glass of water. Now my kitchen's very cold and um, so it, it might work okay, um, but it should really be ice, ice water. So I'm just gonna grab 
spoon and then all you need to do is you grab so being careful not to burn yourself grab a little bit and then you literally you just plunk it into the water now it's actually quite close to being ready because as you can see it's holding its shape as it goes in if you can see that looks a bit gross doesn't it <laughs> I'm just going to uh, get the sugar thermometer out again just to see where we are with that Oh, we're so close. Very close. I'm actually just going to leave that in there for a second. Let's give this a stir. Not 110. Apologies. Excuse me, there's my random bit of hair that keeps getting in my face. very last part of this and you are gonna have serious arm muscles after this is that you have to beat in the vanilla extract and you have to keep beating until it gets really really thick we are there we are there a bit boring isn't it watching me just stand there watching a sugar thermometer slightly boring hey ho okay so i'm going to take this off the heat completely switch that off so i don't set fire to myself and we're going to grab our vanilla and it's a teaspoon of vanilla i'm going to find my jelly spoons and find my floor One teaspoon, it will sizzle. There goes the sizzle. Basically, just mix, 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 mix now. So, you basically, it needs to become really thick and really creamy in texture. might feel it starting to get grainy as it starts to cool down that's okay oh my arm hurts <laughs> yeah I think we're pretty much there that's beautiful look at that oh Okay, so we're now going to pour that into our prepared tray. I'm just doing it from a little bit of a height just to let the um, kind of the cold 
air get into it, just help it set quicker. a little bit heavy try not to get it on your fingers at this stage because it will burn okay I'm just gonna try and smooth that out a little and just scrape off the excess there. Let's see if I can get any more out of here without burning myself. So you see as it starts to cool, it's really starting to set. much like wet sand. And I also suggest soaking your pan after you've uh, completed your fudge making. Okay, I'm just going to pat that down a bit. It. So once you've got that lovely mix here, it's really difficult for me to show you on camera. It looks a little bit like cat sick, doesn't it? Delicious. Uh, you just need to um, leave it to cool. That's it. Leave it to cool. Um, then turn it out, cut it up into little squares, shove it in your face. Easy peasy. Um, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. It was a very quick um, little tutorial today. Um, probably a little bit boring just watching me stir, but have a go at making fudge. It is super easy. It's super tasty. Um, and who doesn't love fudge? Seriously. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And I will see you next time.